everyone. This is Jay from The Crazy Life of Jay. Just wanted to stop by in response to a call out on Facebook from Carrie who asked if anyone used their personal file of faxes as a planner and wallet in one. And uh, she specifically threw my name in there because she was pretty sure I did in fact do so, which is very true. I'm going on about two and a half years of using my Malden as my all-in-one planner. And uh, attached to this video is a post about the same thing, but in case you don't feel like reading and looking at pictures, here's the video. Um, my Malden is nice and fat, just the way I've always liked it to be. I'm not going to go into my entire setup today because I'm hoping to do another post and video about that soon as I've got some new inserts coming. Um, so today will just be a quick little video um, specifically about the wallet section of my planner because obviously I think we all know how to use a file of as a planner itself. Um, so the main section of my wallet is in the front. Um, as you can see, I keep cash in the long vertical pocket um, behind the zip pocket, which works for me because usually I don't have all that much cash on me. As you can see today, I have a dollar. Um, but any cash that I do have on hand, I keep back there and it seems to fit pretty perfectly so that it doesn't interfere with the cards. And then usually I don't have that many coins, but if I do, I keep them in the zip pocket. And like I said, I don't have cash all that much. So I know the zip pocket has been a problem for some other people, but for me, it seems to work just fine. Um, and then I have my driver's license and my three most used credit cards for quick, easy access right in the front um, pockets. I have my personal credit card and then a joint credit card and a gas credit card. Um, so that's kind of most stores I go to. That's my go-to section. I can pay quickly, get in, get out, and call it a day. Um, but what else? The other things I have in here is... Obviously, we're not going to use Costa Rican money here in the U.S., but a few pages back behind my little memorabilia page and my little mobile office to go and some stickers, I have this next section, which is all of my store cards. So my grocery store, um, discount cards, Walgreens, you know, balance rewards cards, things like that. The key, I think, personally, there's my dog, <laughs> the key to using a Filofax as a planner wallet combination is definitely, definitely, definitely card holders. And fortunately, even if you don't want to order the Filofax ones online or don't want to wait for shipping because you're impatient like I am, most office supply stores sell day timer or day runner um, credit card inserts that, that work just as well. So um, this section is where I actually have three different sets. I lied. I have four different sets of um, inserts for credit cards and business cards that I use for store cards. Um, I'm going to cover that because that's actually credit card information. And then I also keep uh, my firearm owner's card in here, other store credit uh, discount cards, and, you know, gift cards, more credit cards, and basically everything that I would keep in a wallet. Instead of keeping it in wallet slots, I've basically just made sure that I have enough card slots, um, or card inserts rather, to hold all of my necessary wallet information. Um, and then the last page I just have, you know, what's another thing we stick in our wallets is business cards that we accumulate. So I just have another one of those to put in business cards for my hairstylist and um, a membership card for a local Arboretum. Um, so that's basically, you know, with four of these in here, I can carry, um, you know, 12 cards if I put them singularly, if I go back to back, I can carry even more. So. It definitely has just as many, if not more, spaces to hold credit cards and store discount cards and business cards than your typical wallet. Um, the last section of my wallet portion of my planner is just a basic top opening envelope. Um, and this is my coupon file. And I'm actually really bad about this right now because typically I keep a post-it note right on the front. That's kind of a running list of what's in here, what I have, what the discount is itself, and then any expiration dates so that I can, you know, refer to it pretty often and see, okay, this is going to expire soon. I Do I need to use it or is it not worth a special trip to that store? Uh, but I found it just a, you know, Filofax top opening envelope works pretty well for that. Um, and as far as the wallet section of my planner, that's about it. And then after that, you know, we go into my other two sections, my et cetera section and my diary section that's basically the meat of the rest of my planner. But the wallet part really comprises of these, you know, four credit card inserts, a top opening envelope, and then fortunately the Malden is a binder that really, really lends itself perfectly to 
um, holding quite a bit of stuff right in the front. So I do get quite a few odd looks when I pull it out at the grocery store. Um, I've had a couple people comment on, wow, you know, you're so incredibly organized. Um, if they only knew the secret. <laughs> so um, it works. It makes me happy. I've been in it for about two and a half years now without a quote unquote real wallet. So it works for me and uh, I hope that some of you try it out. Have a great one. Bye.